Hello, we are here uh, following with the series regarding uh, Season Ancient Legacy. Uh, as you know, this, uh, this series uh, try to, to answer some questions of uh, all people uh, studying our school or tradition uh, from Ogawa Sensei line and uh, it's asking special things that are so so characteristic from our, from our tradition. In this case, we are asked regarding uh, Kumubito. As we have explained in other videos, uh, Kumubito is a special uh, way of Jujutsu employed by the Sisen uh, that uh, it's like the uh, like man like spiders because comes from the Kumogasen. The Kumogasen is the, the spider battle that it's a, a game in Japan. And the idea in this case of this Kumobito is to, to fight in a close technique, in close combat. And the idea of joining the upper limbs with the lower limbs in, 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 in Tachi in order to, to gain a position in, in, in the ground and of course make a restriction technique, uh, making uh, a submission technique at the end. Then in this case, Shido Juliana is going to explain us some characteristics, some special techniques never seen before of what it's Kumobito and will solve uh, the, the many doubts that we have concerning this fantastic topic. Then Shido Juliana, please. Yes, please. Uh, I guess the better thing is for us to show the technique itself. So as you know, we have a very traditional posture. So from here, we start. I start protecting myself and with, uh, against his shoulder. He's doing the same thing, and he, of course, will try to gain uh, vantage and catch my leg. That's what he will do. Okay, that's the thing. So I have here. If he completes this, I have here my arm in a very uncomfortable angle. Of course, he's controlling still my wrist. You cannot see, but my wrist is like this and he has his hand and was on my, over my elbow, came to my wrist. So when he does that, what I do is I will also pass my arm and I don't know if you can see here, I will control his elbow with my right hand, okay? And after this, I'm going to change and catch I don't know if you can see here because of the hakama, his leg. And I will bring him to the ground. So, in this case, the first thing that I will do, I don't know if you can see it, is that I'm kneeling over his lateral part of the knee. Okay? That's the first thing. And after it, I'm going to control that leg. So, of course, you can do a lot of impacts here, but uh, the main situation is I have to find a safe position to cross to his back and from here I use that lever that we, we know. So I have here a lock that I will apply with my arm and with the leg and I'm going to twist my back. That's it. I'm not going to force too much. This is a very painful lock. I twist my heart out. So the interesting thing here is that this happens if everything goes perfect, of course, and if he does not have time to react. So Luisa now is going also to explain what he could, how he could react to that. Yes, thank you very much. What I will do is explaining what are my uh, my uh, my way to defend against several positioning of the opponent, but at the end, of course, Sido uh, Juliana will have conditions to, to regain uh, uh, a prior position and, and, uh, and submit myself. And the same idea, from here I will do the same pass in order to control, but of course, she is going to the same point, he is gaining my, uh, my elbow here, and he, she's trying to take my leg at the same way that she has claimed before. Okay? Into this position, what I will try to do, I go forward, she tends, and when she
she is trying to catch my leg, what I will do is to take my leg out. Right now, the, not, the new position makes her to go to the other leg. And she cuts my left leg in this position. She's having my here and here. In order to defend against this position, because I am uh, ready for going to the ground, I need to knee down my left knee. And that's very interesting because that's the, the position that he assumed to explain to you. But of course, in the normal situation, this arm will be down. Yeah, so he will do this. Then you see his arm is crossed. So that's why I come here. So right now, I knee down. And she has the, the, the idea of taking out, taking my other leg. Right now, keep wool and right leg to this position. Now please check that I have my left leg, my right leg here. So in this case, to twist, I don't know if you get the camera can see it. I'm going to pass the side. Right now. I try to regain my position, trying to go up, and she is trying to do this technique that will be the ending technique right now. She so will we'll explain what she's trying to do. So here I have my knee on his ribs, and I'm pressing. I have also my left knee near to the cervical or near to his head. In this case, again, as we saw with the leg. I cross the arm and I have this uh, close angle between his arm and his forearm. And I am also controlling the elbow. So to do that in a better way, of course, I, was, I have here my um, left foot near his throat, near his neck. The other one, again, I'm going to sit down. So the important thing here is that just by using that angle, you may see that I can force this, but this is not so efficient as if I bring his wrist against my hara. Okay, so I have here a more close, more, a more close lock, more efficient lock. So from here, I'm going to go backward really slowly and twist it. And that's a, I have two, and three points, we have a triangle here in a lock. I don't know if you can see it here. I'm going to just take my hot arm out. So we have the wrist, we have the elbow, and we have the shoulder working as a triangle on that lock. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. So um, this is just one example of the Ocean Shizan's legacy. This is a very interesting, very anthropological study of Kumo Bito, and of course we'll bring you more curiosities about that.